What is up, planet? It is the priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be looking at a special message for you. So this is going to be one of those timeless messages that finds you in the right place, the right moment. You may even find yourself coming back the next year to watch this video. So it's going to be one of those type of readings today, which I'm really excited about because I know you guys have been looking forward to this video. So thank you for being so patient with me. Shout out to all the new subscribers. I just hit 210,000 YouTube subscribers. So I just want to thank you guys for becoming a part of the Tarot Tribe where we embrace most importantly, love, freedom, happiness, and truth. These are the four core beliefs that we're learning even more about now in 2020. I'm in the process of relocating to another state, so it's been hectic and crazy. And I'm also working with the Tarot Priest Academy. If you guys have not signed up yet, we have almost 400 students signed up for Tarot Priest Academy. You can find that at tarotpriestacademy.com or the tarotpriest.com. So shout out to all the students who are part of the Tarot Priest Academy. It has been so much great learning and really good feedback from you guys. And I really feel connected in the tarot world, but also the enlightened world. So some of you guys are waking up to new things. You didn't think you were going to get in the course. You thought you were just going to learn how to read tarot. And then you realize you were becoming enlightened. So we have a lot of people who are experiencing enlightened moments and also revelations so this is really really cool so i wanted to give a shout out to all the students in tarot priest academy obviously i have the soul journey webinar that i do every month this month we're tackling removing toxic and negative energy so you guys can find that down below but you can also stream it later so it doesn't matter if you come back to the website the tarotpriest.com to find that video that you may be looking for or soul journey webinar that you can be a part of so I have closed my schedule for the rest of the year and I'm already starting to get bookings for 2021. So some of you who are looking to book, please follow me at the tarot priest on Instagram because I'm going to be giving a new update and obviously a lot of things are happening. Um, next year, I'm getting ready to roll out a lot more projects so that I can help even more people. So just stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram if you guys are looking for a word or something to inspire you, some courage or some guidance. All right, enough of the talk. Let's get into today's pick a card reading. Again, remember, you are going to be thinking about the special message that you are open to receiving in which deck is going to be pulling towards you. So we have four different decks that you can choose from. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. Remember guys, it's totally fine. If you are having a hard time choosing, just take a break. You know, it's not supposed to be something that you overthink. It's just a feeling. It's going to be that first natural feeling that you have that's going to be pulling towards you. A good trick I like to use is look away and look back and see which deck is still standing out more than the others. Remember, this doesn't really have to do with symmetry or even color of the stone. It's really just the stone that is pulling towards you. All right, guys, let's hop into today's reading. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading for a special message for you but i also want you to know that 11 11 just popped up on the clock so if you guys are seeing ones or you're even seeing 11s i like to see everything as a signal right this would be just hey getting your attention but sometimes it's just the message i always say to research at that moment what are you doing pay attention when you see 11-11 or 1-1. One, one. Okay, let's start with one. We have transparency, honest, authentic, genuine, and present. And we also have nature, ground yourself, find a sanctuary in nature, connect with the element. So let's see what's going on with you, deck number one. I'm gonna tie this special message for you. I feel like there's a lot going on. Deck number one, for some reason, it's like what they're showing me is the wind and the branches and the trees. It's just like nothing is ever really subtle. I'm feeling like that in your life. Nothing feels like it's just at ease or subtle right now in this moment. But I'm feeling also that it's simpler than maybe you're thinking it is to get to that place of peace is what I'm hearing for you, deck number one. The tower in reverse, and we also have the empress. Some of you guys uh, could be expecting, that's for a very few of you, but also the empress comes to say that this is 
creating a new life. So I'm feeling that universe is saying, I know it's crazy now. I know that the wind is blowing. I know that it feels very rocky, but there is some guidance around you that I'm seeing. I mean, that's why the 1111 is there. It's like, they are your spirit guides, angels, higher self, whatever you believe, the universe is trying to communicate with you. But with where you are, there's a lot of static. So what I'm feeling is that there's a disconnect with some of this guidance. Sometimes you may feel like you're alone or sometimes you may feel like things are not, again, subtle or grounded in your life, but there is guidance to get you to a much safer space in your mind, is what they're saying. Voyage, you already have the answers, yeah. So some of you that are looking for answers, they're there. Again, it's like, if you knew just how much peace would come from the nature and grounding yourself in simple things, even music, certain meditation music will bring you there. So I'm hearing that your higher self is saying that you have the tools. Now it's just being open to some of the guidance from your guides, some of the guidance from the universe. Again, that's why you will be seeing 1111 or 111. We have 111 here. This is the three, the Empress. Let's see what else is going on with deck number one. Why is transparency here for deck number one? Why is transparency here? Thank you. The star. We have Aquarius energy here. We also have Scorpio energy. There is something that's getting ready to happen in your life, deck number one, that you are not expecting. A lot of the things that you're looking to happen, you're not really expecting to happen. So it's kind of like, okay, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I feel like this is a very beautiful time that you're going to receive some type of hope or hope or some type of light at the end of the tunnel. I also feel like you have more options than you think you do. So this message is that one, not to give up, two, to be genuine and honest with yourself about certain things in your life. Um, and I also see something material changing also. We have a lot of passion that's getting ready to happen. Uh, this, is, this can also be an entrepreneur, lots of entrepreneur vibes. So you could be, or maybe you're thinking about it. Um, spirit is saying go. So this is your confirmation. Deck number one special message for you is to go. I also like to think of the 1111 as like these spiritual gates because they look like doors to me. And that usually means like an initiation. So I do see that there's some type of project some of you guys may have been sitting on. Um, and again, it brings me back to just that tree and the wind is just so loud. And this wind is representing so many things in your life that feel out of control. But what the spirit is saying is that, you know, no matter what is chaotic around you, the peace is within you. And so this is gonna be dope, deck number one. Something is getting ready to change, uh, but it also is reliant on you taking that leap of faith and having hope in some of these projects that you guys have. If it's not entrepreneurship, it could also be stability financially. But the king of pentacles is here. We're gonna clarify why that is here. Usually when you have the empress and the king of pentacles, this is some type of power couple. Um, this could also be something that you may be looking for, but this feels like you having the power couple within you also. So you're learning that you can do this by yourself. Be your own first priority and you already have the answers. It's also a special message for you guys, which is good to know. That should bring some sense of peace to you to understand that, okay, I have the answers, but where are they? Now, this is the time to open up more to your spiritual conversation. Again, spiritual is just your soul. You know, we don't have to overcomplicate it. Epiphany. Yeah. So something is getting ready to happen. This could have already happened. This could be happening for you. Deck number one already. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. Oh, you already have the answers. How do I get these answers through meditation? But it's hard to meditate when everything is so loud and staticky. So deck number one, your higher self has been waiting for you to just chill and be in this space of not, not just being alone, but in a space where you are finally just at ease and subtle. 
but your spiritual guides are trying to guide you there. It just takes a lot of openness to get there. So things are just out of control, even on the tower card here. It's like spinning out of control. Just know that you are the peace in the middle of the storm. I keep saying this on my Instagram. If your beliefs are not bringing you peace in a time of chaos, it is time to question them. Your beliefs spiritually, your soul beliefs within should bring you peace. You should not wonder if you are going to be okay. You should know that you're going to be okay. That is spiritual to know. Okay. We also have the emperor, Aries energy, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation. <laughs> Oh man, this is awesome for you guys. You guys are taking charge of your life. So some of you who have been on the fence about these big decisions that maybe um, are bringing you anxiety because you don't know if you can actually succeed at it. It could be a certain job, something that you're feeling like if you're ready for it, I'm hearing number two message. You're ready, deck number two or deck number two and deck number one. So I'm hearing number two message. You are ready you will create that stability um that's why some of you have been thinking about entrepreneurship and a lot more people will be because when you depend on yourself you have much more control um being more self-sufficient than rather depend on an employer to employ you we don't know if that company is going to even exist next year or the year after we see so many things are changing so spirit is also trying to get you to a place of knowing that you can make your own stream of income even if you think that it's far-fetched, but that takes you realizing that you're the emperor and it is going to be a voyage. Okay. You see, she's looking at the map. Where do I go? Well, that's where the 1111 is. You have those signals. Look it up when it comes up. If it's 333, whatever it is, look it up because if you cannot hear, if you cannot dream, if you cannot tap into any of your abilities, because I do see that you have them, then the next best thing would be to research and try to bring these messages together so that you have exactly the map that you need for this new voyage and journey is what they're saying. Taking charge of the situation, keeper of secrets, take time out from the world and be the observer. So that means instead of being in the middle, just step back a little bit. In fact, I'm hearing that three to four days would be great for you to not look at media at all. This will get you right to a place of peace that you're desiring. So again, they're saying that you have everything you need. You have the tools you need. You have the answers, the map. You're not really, I'm seeing that some of you guys are new. You could be new to the spiritual journey of connecting and receiving guidance from your heart, from your soul, from your spirit. And so sometimes if that's the case, the map can look like it's in another language. And that's because our guides do not communicate through language. It's usually through excitement and inspiration and this type of adventure. And that's the voyage. It's interesting because spirit shows up most where we take the most, most risk and where there's the most unknown. So it's when we're in our deepest places that spirit shows up the most is what I'm hearing. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. Remember I said to know. You see other secrets and you keep them sacred. So you have this connection with the truth. You could have been struggling with another deck as well. Could have been the blue one um, because that's a heavy spiritual deck. So it's like you're taking this initiation because whatever it is that you're desiring, it's, it's going to be in your spiritual atmosphere. You're desiring to just be at peace, to be at ease, to not have to worry, to understand where you're going, what you're doing. So you will have an epiphany and it, there will be joy, but it is through a spiritual growth. But as you see, this is the hermit. This person is blind with a light. They're, they're just looking. They're not sure where they're going, but they know they're going somewhere better than where they came from. Let me just calm down because I'm about to start preaching. Okay. It's, I can't, I can't. This is giving me chills. I was literally just going to say this. Silence and solitude is where you will find your strength. However, I always say that silence and solitude is the quickest way to connect with source. And so this is igniting you, whatever it is that you're going through, it is igniting you and almost like pulling you towards something more peaceful, something more abundant, something more joyful, and something that brings you ease. Great big love. Six of Gabriel, congratulations. 
You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships, and promotions. So some of you do have awards, scholarships, and promotions, and also new business ideas on the horizon if you have not already received them. But I do see that there will be success with whatever it is that you've been pondering on for those of you who are entrepreneurs financially. I do see that there is financial success with that idea. Some of you, it could have been a book, it could be a YouTube channel, um, it could be a gardening business. I mean, they're showing me all different kinds of things. Some of you, it's just a hobby that you do that could actually generate some income for you. So they're saying to be open to all the answers. Value your self-worth. You are God's precious gem. So you are capable of this next level in your life, this next um, initiation, which is again, your spiritual awakening. It's trying something new, basically, just to not overcomplicate spirituality. It's just simply trying something new. And this newness is gonna be a path that is not comfortable. It's not comfortable because it's new. It's completely new. But you must understand that because you are God's precious gem, that alone, your existence alone is enough to value your self-worth, just your very existence, because just to be alive is a miracle. And I don't have time to preach and break that down, but I hope that didn't go over your head. Own your divine power. The more you connect with your guides and your higher self, you will know because they're the ones that are your greatest cheerleaders. It's the instinct that's like, go for it, you can do that. Yeah, that's easy. It's only six times this, and then you can make this much, you know? This is, it says replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. Again, assertiveness with the emperor. The empowerment comes from you understanding that you can create your own stream of income. You can make the reality that you want to experience happen, but there is a voyage to getting there. Your destination, there's a voyage. There is a map of directions that has all the answers is within you. You literally have an internal compass. It is your connection to source that allows that. These are deep messages, number one. So I feel like you're gonna get into some more soulful things in your life if you haven't already, okay? So this is understanding that if you make that move, that that is what's going to change your reality by changing your decisions. So let's get some final messages. That is the voyage card here for number one, deck number one, the special message. I also love that there's a mermaid swimming in the ocean and she's she's so worried about where she's going that she's missing all of the things around her, all the magic around her. And again, that's something that they're saying is, you know, be present in your present moment. I know that you're on this journey of destination. You have some of these goals, deck number one, that they're showing me that are very ambitious and you will get there. Um, but don't miss all of the beauty along the way because it's a journey. And it's like driving along the coast of an ocean, being open to the breeze and not just worrying about getting to your destination, but taking it all in around you. Six of wands, yeah, six of wands, twice. You have success. Success is on the horizon. You can do it, but you must be willing to go for it. And in this time, also deck number one to wrap this up, to clear the static and everything, you know, if you do decide to do that three day fast from media and TV, just pay attention and be aware to, of all of the amazing things that are happening um, that you may have been missing, focusing on the wrong things. Because I'm seeing that once you get into this space, you will then get the messages that you're looking for. You will then start to receive the answers that you've been seeking. When you take this journey into some type of nature where you can ground yourself, also it's, it's multiple things that are showing me with the media. Okay, because it's again, it's like a static. It could be the music you're listening to. Okay, certain things change something and make something different. This is going to be the epiphany that's going to make you realize, oh my gosh, what have I been doing? I've been here for this many years. What have I been doing? That is the epiphany. So it's on the way and don't force it. Don't force this epiphany. I see success on the horizon. I see so much prosperity for you, deck number one. And the best thing that they're giving me besides finding that space of connecting just with the peaceful place within, that loving place, that freedom, that joy, 
that space within, being honest with yourself about certain things that you do want in your life. There's no harm in being honest with yourself. Think about that. There's no harm. So think also about what it is that you truly want and desire, because I see so many things happening for you. Some of you have children involved, some of you, because I'm seeing the emperor. So let me just clear that up before we get out of here. Page of Cups, okay. Or some of you desire to have children. But this next space in your life, I'm feeling deck number one, there's going to be a lot more stability, a lot more stability, but it's coming from your independence. So instead of relying on others, understanding that that reliance comes with the string attached, you are solely looking for freedom in your life. And that freedom comes from being independent, making your own decisions, but also placing yourself in the position to do so. So. This is your guys' special message. You have something on the horizons that you're not looking for, but it is success. And it is also some type of opportunity around finances. It's going to be relying on your hope with the star card here. A lot of these things that are going to happen, you're never going to believe you thought could happen. And so be open to those things, um, but also be your own priority. It's time to put yourself first is also what I'm hearing, deck number one. But the best thing is that you have so many people on your side. Your guides are on your side, your higher self is on your side, source God, whatever you believe is rooting for you, okay? So if you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below so I can see what you guys have to say. Also, make sure that you uplift someone. If you are scrolling, you see something, you know, like their comments, send them some love back. We're trying to spread more love and positivity and unity on the page. So if you guys do happen to see that, then please do feel free to do so. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading for what special message does the universe have for you? Let's see. Sanctuary, our favorite card. Privacy, inviolate personal space, respected boundaries and taboo. Let's see why this is here for you, deck number two. This doesn't have to be a bad thing. This sanctuary feels very good. It feels very necessary. Why is sanctuary here for deck number two? Thank you. Strength, we have Leo energy and Ace of Wands. Some of you may be waiting for something to happen, waiting for some type of news, waiting for some type of, uh, I'm hearing diploma, certificate. It could be something that you had in your plans that maybe you thought was going to take you a lot further, but it's not the right time just yet. Uh, let's just see why that's here. Deck number two, Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Thank you. Yeah, you will have success in, in the right timing is what I'm feeling. So something that you thought maybe is gonna be over or is on hold, I also see is coming back to life. Um, but we also have the Hermit here. So we have Virgo energy. So I am sensing that this is a time of space to really prepare for the new year, deck number two. New year stuff. You guys are going to have some really, really, really cool projects coming in in 2021. Some of you are going to be waking up to a lot more inspiration when it comes to these spiritual things going on in the world. Let's see what else is going on. So this is good. Spaceship. <laughs> I love it. Don't be afraid to sing. Something about the spaceship that I love so much because, again, I represent a wake planet. I always talk about a wake planet. And the spaceship represents a much higher level of freedom. And so it's like, don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be afraid to let loose in this next year coming up. Again, they're just saying the next two months in your life, uh, this sanctuary, make the most out of it. And also, I just see that you're going to be happy in this sanctuary. So whereas maybe you didn't really want sanctuary in the beginning, you're starting to value it more, your space. So why else is sanctuary here? Aries energy on the board. And we also have the nine of swords. So some of you just, you're not gonna have a choice but to kind of take this space and I feel like your spirit guides are saying that everything's going to be okay, that this, this place of sanctuary is very important. You're going to learn very valuable lessons and insight for more freedom in your life. There's more to learn is what I'm seeing as well. 
We also have Fire, Stand Up for Yourself. I'm not trying to get censored, but you guys can read that word there. So this is about kind of getting that ignition within to stand your ground on certain things. And what happens is I'm just feeling that you're preferring to be in sanctuary more than you are around people at this moment. But it is that place that you're going to find that's bringing the most happiness. So standing up for yourself means saying no to some people, projects, places, things. Okay? Saying no to certain perceptions. Right? The media has painted so many different perspectives that it's hard to find the truth. You are going to have an inner knowing of the truth. Deck number two. Yeah, you're beyond ordinary. So this is wake up time. Okay. So you, I feel like have experienced some crazy things this year. Everyone has, but with you, I'm seeing that this is much more deeper thing. You guys could be readers. You could be into tarot. You could be life coaches. You could be looking to spread more light into the world. Maybe you're ignited or inspired, but I'm also seeing that it's necessary for you to be in space so that you can prepare for the new year. Because if you think you're activated from 2020, 2021 is going to be a whole nother level for you. Deck number two. Beyond ordinary personal choice. So a lot of the sanctuary also what they're saying is it's just for you to also get clarity. You will be very thankful for it. Okay. Very, very thankful for it. But it says, what animal do you imagine? Okay. When you close your eyes. What strength do they have? For some of you, you may see lions because we have lions here. We also have the emperor, which is the bull. Okay. And it says, what strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. Seeing beyond. This is big deck number two. Maybe you don't even choose deck number two often. Maybe you choose three um, for some of you. But I'm seeing that those of you who are highly drawn to the blue card, this will be the vast majority of you. So if you came to this pick a card reading and you chose this, you are part of the mass majority. Okay. That means that you are also feeling a lot of the things that are happening right now, but you may be seeing beyond maybe the media or what people around you are thinking. This may have led you to distance yourself. You know, a lot of families are dividing on in this time just over beliefs and opinions. But you, you are being ignited to see beyond that. Some of you have come a long way. Some of you have went through things that maybe people would never imagine. But I also am seeing you need a recharge. And this special message for you is to know that you are certainly on the right track, but you are part of a collective few. So there are more meaning relationships that are going to come in your life, more meaningful friendships that are going to come in your life. Ask for help. Yeah. But I'm also just feeling like you're the strong person in the group, or you could be the oldest, or you could be the leader, the one that all, someone always comes to. But right now I'm also seeing and hearing that you cannot save everybody. See, you are definitely here to guide people. The special message is that you are special. Some of you are may not see it just yet, but the vast majority of you, I do feel like need boundaries. I'm seeing, I'm feeling empathic vibes. Get more rest and nurture yourself. This is where you stand your ground, making more decisions that will bring you happiness. For instance, you know, there's certain things that we don't want to do, but it's family. So we show up, you know, that's what they're saying is see beyond family, see beyond identity, beyond color, occupation, status, money, see beyond that. And when you see beyond, you can see that we are all one of the same. So I am, this is a, definitely a teaching moment. Deck number two, Pedro Raphael. So you have a new love situation coming in. Some of you could be in a new uh, relationship or you could be talking to someone. If not, I do see that there is a new connection coming in here. Okay. This would be puppy love. This is going to be someone that you attract because you have shifted the way you see things. That something is your vibration of being able to see beyond the ruckus and see that there's much more important things as far as spiritually that matter to you, like happiness and peace and joy and freedom in the truth. Okay. So that ability is now attracting new relationships in your life. So you're going to start seeing 
the fruits of your labor very quickly just after making decisions to say no, to cut off certain people, to take that space. Okay, it says a new emotional relationship, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. So I also am hearing the word replaced. So those of you who feel like you've lost a lot of people, lost a lot of friends, okay, maybe some of you guys are grieving. The special message is also to keep an open heart because this open heart allows you to manifest that reality. When we are closed off to it, the likelihood of it happening is very rare. So focus more on the loving aspects of life in relationships. Okay. And choose again, I'm feeling love over fear. And what this means is that some of your friendships are dying out and the time has expired. You are going beyond you're in a spaceship, you know, that just, when you think of it like that, you're on a whole nother level. You see things a little differently. And if you haven't been, you will certainly start seeing things differently. I just want to see why this page of Raphael is here. Ten of Cups, yeah. Some of you guys are definitely going to meet or have someone in your life. I am definitely getting, I don't really care to label things, but I am getting Twin Flame and Soulmate vibes coming in, okay? We also have the Queen of Swords, so this is definitely a person. Some of you are going to meet someone, whoever this person is, they're very strong-minded. They know what they want. Um, you guys will have a lot in common. The Ten of Cups is ultimate happiness. Uh, this is beautiful. This is also family vibes that's giving me. Three of Wands, some of you. Uh, this is going to come in a lot more quicker than others. We have the Three of Wands here. So this is going to happen or it's already happening. Let what needs to fall apart fall apart because the universe is replacing it, honestly. And it's not to say that people are bad. They're just not going where you are going. Whatever you're here to do is extraordinary. Let's see what else you guys have. The Queen of Raphael. So we have kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. So this is amazing. Deck number two, I'm feeling like love and family are definitely going to be on the horizons. And it may even be like a peek or a glimpse into your future of what you're here to experience. Your dreams will start opening up also. You'll receive psychic guidance, but I also feel like that is your heart. You're learning how to follow your heart more and not getting persuaded by words, opinions, beliefs, but really, really uh, trusting more of what feels good to you. Does this feel like love? Does this feel good? Or does this feel like someone's trying to get me to do something they want me to do? Usually what fear is there for is control, okay? Fear can also be good if intended to use for signaling and awareness of guidance, like, hey, psst, get out of there. But when we stay there for so long with the fear, it starts to manifest greater. So I am seeing that there's a sense of clarity that you're going to be getting. Um, and I also just feel like gratitude. So all of the things that you've experienced, I'm also seeing that more help coming in. You may be the one that everyone's kind of like crutching on. Like, what do I do? Where do I go? You know, but don't forget to ask for help and support because I am seeing that the universe is sending you great, great things. Eight of Ariel, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional training or education. So some of you who have ideas who may feel like it's out of the question because of a degree or something you may need to do or more training, they're saying to also see beyond that and be open to learning more things, okay? I definitely feel like there's a lot of mental things that you're overcoming. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. You guys are breaking cycles right now. Everything that's falling apart is necessary, but just know that it's going to be replaced. The special message for you, deck number two, is that people, places, things, all of this, good connection, is what's going to replace everything that that you're struggling to hold on to or keep to keep anything that you have to just really work so hard to keep in your life 
usually is not in alignment with spirit or source. It comes, it should come very naturally, very easy. And obviously, yes, you will have obstacles. I'm not saying it's going to be like just a straight shot, but it's not going to be so hard to keep people there um, if they don't want to be. So I'm seeing that as well is to be confident in your own independence and where it is guiding you. You have the power to be able to manifest what it is that you're seeking. And I am seeing that coming forth, ready to love again, but I'm, I'm feeling some heavy, heavy love vibes here. Okay. So let me grab and we have friendship at the bottom of the deck, nurture the bonds of the friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course what's going on in the love situation do you have a special message for them this is the second time they said to close your eyes close your eyes close your eyes so some of you i am sensing that there does need to be some type of meditation in sanctuary in some personal space so that you can disconnect from the world when you're able to do that in that space is where you'll find yourself being the most authentic that's why they're trying to get you there. They're not saying that they want you to be alone and for five hours meditating. It doesn't have to be that complicated. It says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Okay, let's take some time to talk about this. Some of you are in relationships, but you're learning to trust each other more for those of you who are. Trust, 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 trust. You know, forgiveness, things have happened in the past, allow new things to, to begin. Okay, let go of the control, understand that you have help. You have help. Deck number two, that's something that's really heavy. You could have been struggling with deck number one, two, because I did say deck number two and deck number one a couple of times. The energy is definitely merging. It's almost like deck number one is your next destination. So I would definitely go back and watch deck number one uh, because wherever you're at, you're you're in this stage where you're just releasing a lot of things in your life. It's a lot of baggage that I'm seeing and some of it is not yours. Most of it in fact is not yours. So I'm seeing that you deserve to have a share for yourself. You're, you love to give deck number two, you're a giver. You love to give and, and um, it's okay to ask for help sometimes. It's okay to say no uh, because that allows those people to grow. Okay, so I am seeing that, but understanding, taking it back, you deserve to feel joy, joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you find yourself in. How? By focusing on the things that most bring you joy. Okay, even if it's joyful music, upbeat music, learning to shift your energy so that you don't have to sit in this place. You're, you're learning a lot very quickly, deck number two. All right, anything else? Because it says you've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love, even if it's new love, old person, for some of you, okay? Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space, okay? For those of you who are in uh, relationships, more space, more individuality, more freedom is going to help. Um, some of you I'm hearing could even be married, engaged, but long-term relationships, I'm feeling two different vibes here. So ready to love again, you've healed Pat the, from the past enough to open up your heart. So you deserve to receive deck number two, but you may be so used to giving and it's okay because it's part of your expression. You love to give, whether it's love, gifts, expression, but there is also love for you. So you have to be open to knowing that there is love for you. Trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And then one last message for a special message in love. Thank you. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil or pain, a blessing will soon be revealed. So some of you guys are going to have a huge blessing in your love life. For those of you who are in a relationship, I'm seeing like a new fresh air coming into your relationship so accept it take it be open to it be open to new 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 fresh things and people deck number two okay so queen of cups is here uh some of you are seeing more than you've seen before this year um and that's just your third eye waking 
okay? You're more, yeah, right here, you're, you're able to see above it all, okay? So I am seeing that. Progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. Okay, so some of you guys, if your destination is predicated on someone else's, then competition can arise. But understand that there's no competition but yourself. Remember, everyone else limits themselves. So when you focus more on growing, the person that is most aware will always be uh, more successful. They're aware of what their strengths are, their weaknesses are. They're aware of what routes to take. They're aware of the clarity and knowledge that they need to get what it is that they want to obtain. So I am seeing that there is new love coming into your life, but I also feel like there is a lot of competition or maybe a lot of comparison, but you are here to do a completely different journey. So let's see what that's about. Progress, Queen of Cups. Focusing on what you love is what's going to bring you the most success. And then also understanding that your success does not come from material things. It's okay to express yourself and desire to have material things. But what, what they're saying is don't measure your success by how much you have or, you know, how much you make, but focusing on how much in tune you are with yourself. Because the person that makes a lot of money can easily be disconnected from themselves and not having the ability to produce more money, to stay at that level. The one who is always in tune and self-aware can always change with life, you know, with the curve balls, can always create a stream of income for their self if need be. This person is most connected to the universe, most connected to the source. So when you're connected to the creator, you're also connected to the creation. So the one who is wise in this and can see beyond is the one who will be at an advantage. So that's spiritually, soulfully, the person that can follow their heart the best will receive the most. That's truthfully the game and how it goes. So competition is irrelevant. Money, irrelevant. All of that is irrelevant. At some point in your life, you will always desire to have more. You will always desire to want to know what is that more. And it is the void that you're trying to fill. And that is your soul. That's what we talk about on this channel. Soulful messages. It's all about the soul. There's a different fulfillment. There's a different satisfaction. There's a different euphoria and happiness. And we're starting to learn that that comes from internally. So what good does it do you to, to compete or compare when that person is not even aware? All right, guys, let's land this. Let's land this plane, this spaceship. Last mess special message. So everything is going exactly how it needs to go. Everything. You've made a lot of progress. You have love on the horizon. Some of you are looking to expand with family. I'm seeing that also. But I'm seeing that you're going to take some type of, it could be training or interest in something. And whatever that is, it's going to also bring some more finances for you. So. Don't let that be an obstacle in the way from you being more abundant. Yeah, six of pentacles and two of pentacles. This is a lot of financial things. So even with the seeing beyond, this means seeing beyond what your bank account looks like right now. Seeing beyond material. But I'm also sensing for you, deck number two, is that some people don't deserve the abundance that you're giving them. And in fact, you would be a lot further along, but again, it's your heart. I, I love it. Uh, you're very caring, very giving, very compassionate. Um, but now it's time to choose yourself, you know, pouring into you and investing into you financially, whatever it is for you to be the greatest version of yourself. Deck number two, that's the biggest message that I have is that you are on this journey, but it has opened so many doors for you. So not focusing on how far you are or how far you're from the mark, but how far you've come and embracing the moment in the now and celebrating, celebrating your achievements. Because I also see that spirit is saying you deserve to celebrate the achievements. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Do not be afraid to say no. Do not be afraid to invest in yourself rather than others for the time being. 
All right, deck number two, if you guys chose this deck, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. If you haven't liked the video and subscribed, don't forget to do that. And hopefully I'm gonna have another video to you guys. Like I said, I'm relocating, so I'm working on getting the next video. But in the meantime, please check back, check the comments, uplift people, inspire, keep spreading love, and keep being a light in the world. Moving on to deck number three. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. And what special message does the universe have for you? Reflections. What you contemplate can actualize. In other words, what I talk a lot about is what you focus on will grow, which should actually bring some sort of peace and freedom of relief to you knowing that, oh, okay, well, I could just change what I focus on so that I can actualize something different. So I'm also seeing that there's gonna be a lot of things in your life that maybe you didn't expect to happen. Even now, confidence. It comes with time and practice. We also have B community. You are a powerful creator. So this also feels like a reminder, deck number three, is like higher self, universe, God, whichever you choose, really wanted you to watch this deck so that you can understand that, you know, reflections, everything outside, it's, it's projections that are coming from you. And when you realize how much authority you have over some of the things that happen in your life. Now, obviously we can't control people People are, have their free will, which is good. But what you can, I don't really like to use the word control, but what you can authorize in your life is knowing that you are a creator, that you can make what you want happen. And that automatically should exuberate some sense of confidence in your life to know that, okay, I got this covered, I'm good. You are the queen of abundance. So if you focus on what you don't have, you will continue not to have. It's a little tricky, but if you focus on what you want to have, it's like when they, when I see focus, it's just like a beam of energy and it's lasering. And it's like, okay, I'm gonna just focus my intention on opening this door. And even if that door is bolted, it's locked, it's like you can't get in there, you should just change your focus onto something other than and allow that to unfold. Allow that door to open in due time. So. I'm seeing that everything that you want to grow, spending more time and focusing on it, understanding that you're the creator. You are powerful, okay? You are the creator of your life is what I'm referring to. The land between, yes. Let's get some clarity on what's going on with deck number three. But I also want to look at this card because what you're lukewarm with in your life or what you're on the fence about, it's not gonna manifest until you also make that certain decision in your life. More certainty I'm feeling for you, deck number three, is necessary for you to create more realities. You must be certain, you must be certain about who you are, how powerful you are, that your work blesses everything you touch. You have that ability, but if you don't believe it, uh, you cannot use it. It's almost like not knowing how to use um, some type of weapon or tool. <laughs> yeah, there's like a little tool right here. Um, it's also just more inner study that I'm seeing for you, deck number three. More reassurance of who you are, what you're capable of doing. Your higher self just wants you to know that you have the capability of doing that. Why is reflections here? One card for deck three. Three of wands. So you're waiting again. I said earlier, you're waiting for something to happen or you're waiting for this reality to happen in your life, but it will not happen if you do not focus on it. Now, also understanding that it may not be the right timing for certain things to happen in your life, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So also there's a saying of what you persist will resist. That's more of a desperate spirit of just persistent to get this door open and it's like the door just closes more the more we resist that it's closed um but this is a different type of focus okay so do not be so anxious for things to happen
but just allowing them to happen, but understanding that you have the authority over what you want to grow by where you're paying the most attention, where you're focusing the most. You focus more on pain and then you think of one thought and then it reminds you of, you know, that person also forgot to pay you back from the Chick-fil-A they owed you. And next thing you know, you're just like, no, I'm never, like it's that quick when we put all of our energy into that. Okay, confidence for deck three. Three of cups, yeah. There's definitely some sort of reunion that's gonna happen with yourself. Some A lot of enlightening things are happening for you. Uh, a lot of realizations, which is really, really cool. The universe is definitely communicating with you, quieting the mind. So I always say that this next level, this soulful level in your life, it doesn't come from the mind. Okay, the mind is like a hard drive and a computer. It does what it's programmed to do. So if that's the case, our mind could be on a loop of focusing on the things that are bringing us the most fear. Okay, I'm, I'm sensing heavy vibes from deck number three. If you were struggling with another deck, I encourage you to go watch it because I did say something else that is along the lines of a social media fast and a media fast in general. It could be the music, switching that. Okay, because it's also creating static, quieting the mind. And then knowing that your higher self and source, God, whatever you choose to call it, universe, will communicate you the most when you are in a space of silence and solitude. Um, but what I'm seeing is when you're alone, when you're in silence and solitude, your mind could be going. And um, sometimes what it looks like with our thoughts when we're meditating, is like a monkey. It's just jumping, 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 thinking about, oh my gosh, did someone just honk? Did I forget to put the food away? Okay, you start thinking. Allow them to flow, allow the thoughts to flow and just pay attention to when it stops. At that point is what I mean by meditating. It doesn't have to be some outrageous number. Something simply to get you to connect with a little bit of just silence here. Okay, so that's really cool. It's a time for healing, not war. We have castle. So right now is definitely a time for healing and not war. It's crazy times. And because that card came up, um, you are going to see a lot of people that fall out. You will start seeing a lot of, um, you know, even our favorite celebrities, people we look up to, um, relationships not going well. Um, it seems, you know, you're looking out and you're like, I don't even know if I want to be in the world because, wow, it's crazy. You will have these moments, but that's, again, where spirit wants you to get to a place of peace and silence. Here, again, here. A lot, by letting these thoughts go. And understanding that even if we follow the thought, right, if we follow our thoughts, it's either going back to love or fear. And if it's rooted in fear, you must start to begin to remove those layers. You know, that's what the co life coaching is all about. And a time of healing is mostly just being aware and also love, loving people regardless of what they believe, okay? Regardless. Now, some people believe some crazy things, but we also understand that spirit and soul is pure. Spirit and soul is pure, and we are all connected in spirit and soul. So much more valuable friendships are coming your way, deck number three. Something with more substance, something that brings more certainty and more peace. And I'm feeling like these friendships are going to be more of ones with ease. So the conversation will be easy. You can be yourself. You won't feel like, you know, am I allowed to say this? You know, it will just flow naturally. Um, so anything that brings war, anything that brings some type of discord, trying to get from that space, and you know, working on yourself, but also allowing time for healing. So we have seek out your soul family, surround yourself with positive people, spend more time socializing, okay? You guys were the first deck that didn't get solitude and isolation. So what this means is that you are a people person and you could like people, or maybe you're not a people person and you need to start becoming more open to socializing, whichever way it resonates. I am seeing that friendship is going to be a pivotal part to your journey here. But you will see things start to fall apart, but do not let that convince you that it the world is over or things that bring you the most fear. 
Okay, so this is a battle of the mind again. The mind only knows what it has been told. You have to teach it to learn everything you want it to do, like a computer. So that space cannot connect with source in spirit, in, in soul. They don't speak the same language. We have intuition now. So now I know that I'm allowed to be deep with you because we have intuition here, quieting the mind, focusing on what you feel rather than what you think. I say that a lot. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools. Tools are certain things such as these cards, could be crystals, could be sage, to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. Okay, let me fill in the blank. No matter what you see, no matter what you hear, no matter what, okay? So this intuition that you have, I am seeing is going to lead you in the places that you're desiring to go. So that's good. All right, what else do we have? Justice, we have Libra energy. Fight for justice and equality. We also have not war. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. So some of you guys are going to be receiving good news. Now, this could be anything with paperwork. It could be moving into a new place. It could be signing the lease. It could be getting approved for something. Something is getting ready to rule in your favor. It could be custody, could be divorce, marriage. There's, there's many things here that I'm getting. But you're fighting for justice. And in a sense, justice and equality meaning everyone's voice matters. Everyone's voice matters, but it all has to come back to a place of love, okay? There's a lot here, but I'm not gonna get too much into that. Nina Raphael, make a wish, dreams becoming reality, a joyful time of life. So even though everything in the world is going on, you are going to be able to find yourself because of this work. Okay, because of this work you've done to connect with your intuition, trust your intuition, let it guide you, follow your heart. You're making a wish, but you're going to start seeing things happen in your life very, very quickly. Okay, dealing with money, finances, abundance. Let's pull some cards on that. Because a nine of Raphael is contentment. So you're not, you're not going to have to worry, is what I'm hearing, deck number three. Okay, what is the nine of Raphael here? Strength, Leo energy. Financially, you are not going to have to worry, okay? Yeah, death is here in the reverse. Queen of Wands, let's see why the Queen of Wands is in reverse. Queen of Wands, why is it in reverse? One card. Seven of Pentacles. So it's the timing. That's it. It's not that it's not going to happen. It's not that it's never going to happen. It's when we begin to believe those beliefs that that's what the reality starts to look like and we start losing hope and we get discouraged. And that's why I said we can't rely on our eyes. We have to rely on our intuition, intuitively what we know. Because right here, it's just saying that you need a little bit more time to grow. And this is patience. You wouldn't want things to happen right now anyways, but of, of course we're human. So we think that we want it now. What's, what's taking so long? Why is this, you know, when is this going to stop? When is this going to end? But I'm seeing that the timing is what you're waiting for. And you will know when that right timing is. Answered prayers, deep emotional healing. So let's look at this answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door. The door for divine solutions and support. So that door that you've been waiting for justice, waiting for a financial breakthrough, that door of a breakthrough. It just seems like a. have been trying to get this door open for some time now. That door will open for you in the right time because it's going to provide solutions and more support. If you open the door now, you wouldn't be able to make it or sustain it. So this is where we relinquish all of the control of feeling like we have to make it happen and trust in the universe for it to happen. The sun, love it, okay? Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So this is probably the best thing I've heard all day. This is good. 
The Sun card is the happiest card that you can pull from a tarot deck. It represents happiness. It represents new beginnings, new birthing, fulfillment. It's life is wonderful until you turn on the news and someone says that it's not. You're going to start having that realization of why is it that every time I'm just, you know, living my life and I don't look at anything. I'm just everything's great. And that is because you're learning how to disconnect and, and start to follow more of your intuition and what's true to you, because that's what's going to give you peace. When you know the truth, you are going to be at peace. At first, it's going to it's going to piss you off. The truth does piss you off. But it's like that dad that tells you to work on your credit. And then you're just so upset with them. Ten years later, you're like, wow, I get it. You know, that's the same connection that you're going to have with source. It's like, I know the best for you. Just trust me. Just trust me. Understand that life is wonderful. You're going to thrive through it by thinking positively and not just affirmations, but knowing that this is true, that you are here to live a wonderful life. There are a lot of truths that you're opening yourself to. Um, so the make a wish, dreams becoming reality, a joyful time of life. This is good. Some of you are reaching peak moments in your life right now that in a pandemic, you know, that's what they're saying. So you're reaching these sorts of happinesses. You're having sparks of it for sure. But whatever this is, is going to happen and you'll be able to receive it, this joyfulness, no matter what you you're doing. But my concern is your deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences. And you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. So I do see that this therapeutic care, it could be just life coaching. It could be just focusing more on your thoughts and working to remove these layers so that you can focus on what you're here to really experience. Can you give me one of those cards, please? For the sun. Thank you. King of Cups. Yeah. Love, happiness, fulfillment. Lots of cups here, lots of um, cup energy. So you guys could be a, a water sign. You could be. But I'm seeing with the King of Cups, this is also like family, friendships, soul tribe, soul family, gratitude. I can't believe I made this happen. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe life is easy and I made it hard. There are so many realizations that you're getting ready to have. So you are on the right path. It is just releasing some of the things that happened in the past because there's fears of it repeating itself. But the more you focus on it, that will actually keep repeating itself. It'll keep growing. So now that makes sense. It's kind of like a loop. For those of you who weren't able to do the karmic relationships, I think I still have that on my account. If you go to the tarot priest, there's an on demand where we were talking about removing karma, removing the past things. And sometimes we just we stay in this past and it's on a loop. It, it manifests in the present. Okay. It manifests in the future. So you're working to release what happened in the past by giving everything a chance, even yourself. This happened in the past. I did this, I did this, and this happened. You know, this is different. You now are completely different from four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking about how much we're judged on the past, whether it's our credit history. I don't know why I keep talking about credit, but deck number three, whatever it is, get it together, get it together, whatever it is. And if you're working towards it, that's a great path too, because some of the things that you're going to want to do, it's just part of the systematic law. It's just part of living here in society. So, uh, you know, we're judged on our past decisions. And so, we're completely different. We change every day. We change every week, every month. You're an entirely different person from when you were eight years ago, seven years ago, six years ago. But because we are very highly judged on what has happened in the past, because humans, you know, we want to, we all have trust issues in that sense as a human being, because things have happened in the past and we're like, I don't want to do it again. Cause I don't want to get hurt again. I don't want to go through that again. Um, but, Basically, what universe is saying is you don't deserve to be judged based on your past, but understanding that you've learned more now than you've ever had. You have the tools. You're a different person now. You have a different sense of awareness now because these things have happened in the past. So utilize the past as clues, but never staying there too long to where it's manifesting in your current reality. 
All right, let's see. Let's wrap this up. Let's land this plane. Let's land this spaceship. We have Capricorn energy peeking out. We also have the Seven of Swords and we have the Three of Swords. Why is the devil here? Thank you. The hangman perspective. Let's just confirm why the Seven of Swords is here. This would be betrayal. Uh, this would be some type of heartbreak. Okay, got it. So yeah, the devil, something did happen in the past. It could be from someone, someone that did something, broke your trust. What, whoever this is, I mean, this is someone that you would still think about or maybe they still pop up. Whatever this past experience that has happened, let's just see what spirit is bringing it up for. All right, spirit. Higher learning. This card's not even supposed to be in this deck. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further the progress. Am I on the right path? We'll just take this card because it's showing. Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path at all. Know this. You are on the right path. Keep going. Keep believing. Keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. I don't like the word contract, but I get it. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. Today, search all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust feel your new steps. Okay, so whatever this is that has happened in the past, what is this for? The devil, why is this here? Yeah, it was definitely a person. And uh, you could have a child with this person. You could have talked about having children with this person. So I am seeing that it could, have, could be, for some of you, an intimate relationship that has happened that has created you um, this reality of not being able to trust, not really wanting to put yourself out there, get heartbroken um, because of this, again, your heart is ready to heal from the past, okay? So I am seeing that this could be someone that you tried to start a project with, could be a friend also, could be a family member. Whatever this is, you are being asked to change your perspective. When we have two sides and two sides are presenting a perspective, it is a recipe for war because there's not a higher understanding of openness to be able to hear each other out. So I am seeing that this is a matter of perspective and even that person and what they did, what they said, for those of you who I'm talking to, you're being asked to completely let it go and change your perspective about why this happened. It is also created and made you who you are today, the strength. So with this card being the last card I'm going to call, it's higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required. Okay. So everything that you went through was for a reason. And when you have that higher understanding, you will be able to let it go even more easily. And it's not the person, it's the thoughts. It's believing that the same thing could happen. And it's the fear that is projecting that's preventing you from being able to move forward because of the things that have happened in the past, okay? So deck number three, if you chose this deck, I see beautiful things coming for you. Love, family. I also see your career doing better. But this is a matter of, again, figuring out what it is that you want. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you haven't already, I'm going to move on to the last deck, deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what special message does the universe have for you? Spirit of gratitude, so many things to be grateful for, so many things to be grateful for. Lioness, you've earned all of your stripes. Deck number four, I'm getting really heavy in path vibes. I'm getting very heavy. 
emotional vibe. So this would have to do with love. And this would also have to do with loving yourself, self-love, self-acceptance, lots of emotional things, lots of love and relationships. You may even watch other tarot readers who do a lot of relationship readings um, because I'm feeling a lot of that energy here. Like you're, you could be a sucker for love. We also have freedom, live wild and free, choose your freedom, claim your independence. So it is certainly time to start claiming your independence, deck number four. Now, independence, the more independent you are, truthfully, the more free you are. So this could be self-employed. You have more independence over financially what you can make for yourself. So even in being independent financially, you're really just saying you're financially free. You're able to work when you want to work. You're able to do what you need to do when you need to do it or when you want to do it. That's all about freedom. But I want to see why these cards are here because we have express yourself in anger positively. Use anger as that positive force and honor all your emotions because they are sacred. So every emotion that you are experiencing is an important emotion. But it's also teaching you how to live in the present moment by letting go of feeling like you have to control everything. Spirit is saying a special message for you is that you deserve more, more love and more freedom. So some of you could be a little bit frustrated with not having as much as you would like, but still allowing things to flow. So all the things that are really, really hard in your life right now, they're saying that there's an easier path. And obviously the, the path that is the less resistant is going to come from spirit. All right, we have the eight of wands, lots of freedom. You guys are freeing yourself from certain situations right now. It's something that maybe you even knew that, you know, it was going to come a time where you needed to release this or this person or this idea or this vision that you had. It even could be something that hasn't really been working out as much as you would like it to have. This is a special message for you because spirit wants you to know that you are free. You have the strength to be independent. You will do great independently. You do not need anybody to do it for you. So when you claim your independence, you're also claiming accountability, responsibility, you know, those words because it's like, what do I need to do to be more independent? Because I now know maturely that independence gives me more freedom. All right, you've earned all your stripes, meaning it's time. You've learned all you need to know for this level, it is time to grow. So we have the page of pentacles, something new, maybe getting started. It could be like a little part-time job. It could be like something that you just get up and going, but financially it seems pretty stable. I also have the high priestess in reverse. So if you are in a space right now where you feel confused about certain decisions in your life, I'm seeing with the high priestess, it's very necessary for you to connect with your heart. Knight of Swords. And also it's time to take action towards the things that you know will bring you the most freedom. Could be the business idea, could be a part-time job, could bring in more financial, um, for more finances for you, for you to be more stable, for you to be able to have your own share, whatever that may be. I'm seeing that that's here. Anything else for deck number four? Eight of Swords, yeah. Eight of Wands and Eight of Swords. So I'm feeling like we have the higher font here. We have Taurus energy on the board. Definitely feeling like children could be involved in some of your guys' situation. So it is a little bit more challenging for you to be free or feel like you can be free uh, with the Eight of Swords. So that's something also with the higher font is that that's not true. There is a way to do it, but with more financial success, the more independence you will have. So this financial success is not going to be dependent so much on someone else. Yeah, it's not going to be because I wanted to know who you're becoming and you're becoming more of the leader in your own life. Okay, you have powerful forces guiding you into the freedom that you're desiring. Even when we say we want money, it's truthfully freedom that we're desiring. 
the freedom comes from having more abundance, more finances, which is why it's important for you to have a good relationship with finances and abundance and understanding that it's energy so that you can receive more of it. It'll allow you to have more independence in your life. So this is the freedom that your spirit wants you to claim. It says live wild and free. Live wild and free. Okay. Villain. You can always rewrite the story. Who's the villain? Who's the bad guy? Who's the bad guy in the situation? Okay. So some of you may have these fears of leaving certain situations because you don't want to be the bad person or you don't want to leave someone in a stressful time. But what they're saying is you can always rewrite the story, meaning anyone can be a villain based on a perspective. Okay. Everyone has their own perspective. That's why some of these villains we watch in movies, they're good guys. How is it that the villain can persuade us to like them? One of my favorite shows was Dexter. You know, at a time when I loved mindless uh, content, that was what I watched. And Dexter was a serial killer, but for the right reasons. So they rewrote the story and convinced us that this person. So anyone can do that. Do not allow someone to paint you out to be the bad guy because you're choosing yourself or choosing your freedom. This is definitely a word for some of you to give you that strength and courage that you need to understand that you have powerful forces that are guiding you, that you have the ability to conquer challenges. Okay. Unlimitedly within yourself. You do not need someone to do that for you. So you're learning a lot of self independence so that you don't have to depend on others to ask them for anything because you're realizing that sometimes that comes with strings. Nostalgia. Focus on the here and the now. So you see this person's talking to her friend. She's like, you know, I have this great idea. And she's just dozing off thinking about all of the things that are going to happen if I make this decision to leave, to move forward, to try something different, to relocate. Okay. Some of you, these are big actions, divorce for some of you, leaving a relationship, a friendship, a job, hell, leaving the, the, the way we think negatively. I'm tired of hearing myself talk about myself this way. I'm tired of giving into this. So you're being asked to focus on the here and the now because that's where you create. You can only create in the present moment. The past has already happened. The future has not happened, but we can only create in the present moment. So nostalgia, three, three, threes are going to be big. If you see three, three or three, three, zero, three or thirty three, thirty three, threes mean this is I'm hearing this and I never get this. I never get this type of message. You're meant to be here. There's something for you. Okay. Now let's just take a house. For instance, let's say the address is 3303 or 330. Okay. There's something here for you. You may not get the home, but you were inspired by that home and that then did something else. So remember that it's a reminder that this is where you need to be. There's something for you here to learn and know for 33. One more message for deck four when it comes to the nostalgia. Death. Scorpio. I know this is a scary card, but death is good when it means ending pain. That's also a quote I talk a lot about in the Tarot Priest Academy is this death card is so spooky. We think death is so spooky, but nothing is ever ending. It's just beginning. Okay. It's a circle. It's infinite. It keeps going, but this illusion of death creates so much fear. So the reason why I said that is because the death card did come out and that is a confirmation that something is definitely ending. And some of you may be struggling for those of you, if it's a divorce, you may be struggling with just what other people will say. And morally, the higher font usually comes with constitutional things. Okay. What people will think of me, what will people say if I do this? So that's coming up too. deck number four spirit is saying, don't overthink it. You're on the right path. You're just shaking some things off. Okay. So celebrate your accomplishments. You are being crowned with the success. Three of Michael release the past. You will grow from the situation. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. Okay. I also say that love heals all wounds. So yes, you are releasing something, but look at what's right after two of cups. It's a soulmate connection. 
So for those of you who are dealing with this love situation, I am definitely seeing, and it doesn't have to be just love, but it could be something that you're um, having a hard time letting go of, uh, maybe because it's comfortable, whatever it may be, okay? Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. So I do see that you will have a soulmate here that you meet due to releasing all of this energy. It's almost like you've been desiring to have this connection with the person that you may be with that you're struggling to release, or maybe you just really looked for this person within them, but spirit is saying, no, you can actually have that real person that you don't have to motivate to be or motivate to grow into. You are deserving of someone who is willing to put in the work too. That's what they're saying, deck number four, okay? So this person that you're looking for within another, it could be a friend, it could be a relationship, they're saying that that person actually exists, but you must release the one that is not that person. And you know, people grow um, and be open to the person that is. Eight of Gabriel, so you are gonna have some type of good communication coming in. So if you guys are looking for a place, looking for a home, uh, you guys could be looking for a new job, looking for a new car, there's just so many things here, but I'm seeing to let it flow. Anything that is easy and natural is going to come from the soul and the heart, your higher self, source, universe, whatever you decide. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results. So some of you are going to make this decision and it's not like it's going to be three years or something crazy like that before this comes in. This person you're going to meet very quickly like, oh my gosh, how did I? I love those moments. Oh my gosh. Wow. Tara Priest said, wow. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate decision. So let's see why this is here, because this is here in the reverse. What is it that's, it's like you're looking in one direction for good news, but it's coming from behind you. It's coming from a different direction is what I'm getting. Another message for eight of, why well, the eight of Gabriel here is here, for, is here for deck four. Page of wands and four of cups. Yeah. So what your spirit is after, what your soul is after, um, that will make you happy is freedom in fulfillment that's what i'm getting freedom and fulfillment for you love life new and renewed romantic love is here for you i knew i was getting love vibes again this is the first time i'm seeing these cards because i don't look at them when i shuffle because i want to be surprised just as you are so you do have a romantic love that is on the horizons okay some of you could have already met this person but i am seeing that if you have already met them they're a soulmate for those of you who have just recently did this after leaving something tragic or um you know having to move out of something in your life i'm seeing that this person even if you haven't met them they're a soulmate okay you'll have a lot in common a lot in, in common as far as like maybe what your interests are what you like to talk about what you like to communicate with but most importantly you guys have a heart for compassion both of you also carry the tendency of wanting more independence, wanting more financial freedom and freedom in your life. Life changing epiphany or experience. So some of you could have experienced an epiphany of um, that got you out of a certain situation, out of a certain job. And you're like, I knew something didn't feel right here. But what's amazing about the universe is that there's always an open door where one is closed and it's time for a big and blessed change in your life. It says it's it's time for a big and blessed change for you and God is supporting you each and every step of the way. So when you feel that excitement of inspiration of certain things that are going to bring you happiness, you know, you have support. You have support from the universe because you're connected to God and the universe. That's what gives you the excitement. That's what gives you the life within you. That's like, oh my God, I love this. That feeling, that's your soul. That's your spirit. Okay, and you have a lot of support, a lot of support, more than you think you do, but do not be so fixated on the way you think things should go because that, me that makes us very limited to how it can go better. And sometimes, most of the time, we have blind spots. We can't see what's better. We think this is so good for us, this would be perfect. And spirit says no, and we're like, why? What do we do? Why am I being punished? And it's because there's something better. And then once you get there, you're, you're like, okay, yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense. Now I know why I couldn't. But you got to get there for you to have these realizations, but knowing that God is with you every step of the way, which is great. 
All right, wander, voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul. So those of you who are leaving that situation, it is to ignite your soul, okay? It's part of the journey, this journey of the soul, okay? Because again, I have a soul journey webinar I do every month, is leading you to all of your desires. But when we try to fit it into a certain person or job, and that's not the right one, we get so fixated on it by making temporary things permanent. But it's a journey. A journey is never just at a standstill. It's always going, it's an experience. And when you open up and let go of how you feel or think things should be exactly, you close the room on imagination. That imagination is what allows you to create your realities. Oh, I can imagine being in this home with my family, with this person. It's amazing here. Deck number four is just believing in yourself and knowing that you deserve all of this good stuff. So if you guys have chosen another deck and I've told you to hashtag I deserve, I want you to do that again. If you guys chose this at the end, hashtag I deserve this. I deserve this new path, this new life. I deserve this. And there's going to be so much gratitude that comes over you within the next few months. Um, that's going to bring you so much ease and so much peace also. Natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God universe made you naturally attractive and lovable in the inside and out. And it's true that some people just cannot see. And what I mean by that is see who you are. So they take it for granted. Some people just cannot see you, but there are people who will, and they will see you very clearly. It will be very natural. It will be very easy. And that's why it's important to relinquish that control that you may feel necessary in order to keep certain things in your life. If you got to keep it like this and hold it together, hold family together, hold job together, universe is looking at you like this boy, this girl, let that go. So that's what I'm getting, but let's pull one more card. I love it at the bottom of this deck that I just grabbed. Does your life have room for more pleasure and play? Have more fun. Don't take life so serious. It's an experience. Let things flow. Let things happen. It's true that if we live in the same house for our entire life, we will think it's the biggest home unless we've seen a bigger home. So some of us feel like this is the best, Little do we know, higher self is saying, oh, that's not even a slim, slim portion of the pie. But of course, we, only, we, we don't have that capacity um, in our mind because our mind and our, our ego, our mind, our thoughts only knows what it's been taught, only knows what it can see. So that allows blind spots. All right. One card to land this spaceship for deck number four. What other special message and question do you want them to ponder on? Okay, you guys got a few questions. Where am I called to use my voice right now? You have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters and it's time for you to share it with the world. I love it. So you guys do probably have a passion project that would bring in some additional income for you. What can I do to make a difference? So you're definitely going to be ignited. What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it? Such that every ounce of you screams no more. Where can you create purpose out of your pain? Okay. Write about these stories. You want to cuss someone out? Write it in a poem. Express it. This expression is definitely going to be pivotal in your purpose. Even anger. All of your emotions are important expressions. What am I looking for outside myself that is already within me? Deck number four. Let's wrap it up. It says, are you looking for more guidance, confidence, peace, wisdom, love, or something else? When we search outside ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated, and never feel quite good enough. It's time to go inward to find everything you seek. All the answers you need to lie are within you. <sighs> Deep breath number four. If you guys chose this deck, I hope this message gets through to you from a place of peace and love. You have so much to look forward to, but you must know that you deserve this. So if you guys chose deck number four, don't forget to comment down below. Hashtag I deserve this. Okay. I deserve this. 
And if you haven't already liked the video and subscribed, please do. I'll be back with another pick a card reading sometime really, really soon. All right, deck number four, don't forget to comment down below. In the meantime, until the next pick a card reading, I'll see you guys. Love and light.